how to paint plaid. The main ingredients in this are going to be accurate, very accurate taping, measuring tape, a level to make sure it's level and plumb your lines, and a pencil. I have determined the size of my plaid blocks by measuring from the ceiling to the baseboard, which is 84 inches. An equal amount, so we don't end up with a little sliver above or below. So starting from the ceiling, I will have taped, and I can make a small mark, 14 inches, at 28 inches. I'm not going to draw on the wall with my pencil because when you, after you've glazed, you will have pencil lines to contend with and it's not exactly very attractive. Make sure my bubble's in the middle. I'm just going to put a little dot here and then continue over to the paper and put a line on the paper that I can see. Using the safety release tape, I'm going to find my mark and be painting every other horizontal band. Simply by pulling it tight from one mark to the other. Once you complete your taping, you're going to end up with bands that are thinner and like these two. These are not going to be painted, and then the fatter band, which is going to be painted. So I would be paint. I usually indicate this by putting a tab, for instance, on the ones that are not going to be painted. So I would be painting a 14-inch band here, a 14-inch band here, and a 14-inch band here. I am pretending that the sample board is now my wall, and I'm going to be painting every other band that that does not have the tab marks. I'm going to use. Um, just a straying technique. You would be painting each band around the room. You could stop in the corners if necessary, uh, put on the glaze, and then drag it out. You could do it solid painted, and then a glaze on the next. It's sort of your preference. This is a very quick and effective way, just dragging it out, and very evenly. We don't want to have blotchy areas or overlapped areas. So put it on and drag it out evenly. The second step in the plaid will be to remove the tape for the first horizontal bands, starting with, let's say, let's paint this one. So I'm going to tape on the outside edge, pulling directly to my mark, eight inches. This next section is not to be painted, so I'm going to indicate that by a little piece of tape. So we're painting, painting this, not painting this, painting this, not painting that. Now I'm going to take the same green glaze that I had on the first and completely go over the new taped area. So it's going to cross over a white area and double glaze over the existing finish, creating the plaid. And then it's a matter of pulling the tape. And you have your plaid.